Here's how to use JavaScript's reload function to reload the page. So I've got a simple HTML page here, and uh, I've named the page Bob. Uh, he, Bob is a friend of ours, but uh, he's had a messy breakup, so Bob needs to uh, find a way to refresh, rebound. Um, he needs to, uh, you know, reload. So we're going to help Bob do that and, um, you know, help him find somebody new and uh, help him reload his page. So uh, what we have here is a button on Bob's page. And uh, all we need to do is in here we type in reload. But we need to tell it that we're at a location. And the location we're at is reload. So Bob's going to leave the state for a while and uh, find a new state. And he's going to go somewhere new and he's going to reload. So Bob's going to reload his location on the rebound button. I will save that. And we will go back to the browser and refresh to make sure we get a clean page because I was testing before. Close that. Um, and also, I forgot to show you what I have here is up in here in the script, we have uh, it's going to write out any time that the page is loaded. It's going to write out the current date and time and then a line break just to make the page a little bit more readable. Uh, so that's what that's doing. And that's what you see here is the time and date. So anytime we click rebound, you can see that the time updates. There you go. The time updates every time we click it. Um, and that's what that's doing. So this is just reloading the page. And anytime the page is reloaded, that date gets fired. Um, so that's what Bob's going to do is he's going to reload his location. But what what if Bob wants to wait a few seconds? What if Bob wants to take a few seconds to, to you know, get some closure? Bob needs to collect his things in a box to the left. He needs to grab his stuff and go. Thank you very much for saving in the middle of my uh, video project thing. Um, so what if Bob wants to do that? So now what Bob is going to do is go, Bob is going to go, whoa, 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 timeout. Set, set that timeout. I, you know, I'm not ready for this yet. So he's going to put in 5,000 at the end of this timeout because five seconds is actually 5,000 milliseconds. So milli is thousand, of course. And so 5,000 means five seconds. So what Bob is going to do, though, is he's going to, he's going to figure out how to function inside of here. And so whatever's in Bob's function is going to happen at the end of this five seconds. But he needs that five seconds to collect his stuff and collect his thoughts. So what we're going to do is we're going to just take this location reload so Bob doesn't have to move until he's quite ready into the middle of this set timeout function. And uh, so that's what we're going to do. And basically what will happen now is um, we need to be able to do the thing. So Bob needs to be able to do that. So we're going to wrap this set timeout function in another function. I know it gets a little bit tangled after a while. So function do the thing. That is not the do the thing. There we go. And so Bob is going to fire this do the thing method on his button click. So when he clicks it, it's going to do the thing. And do the thing is going to go, whoa, 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 hold on. Set the timeout. And then we'll reload our location after five seconds. But we need to gather our things. So let's go back to the page. So Bob's ready. He's ready for that timeout to begin. So he clicks rebound. And look, the time did not update at all yet. And it will in a sec. There we go. Now it is updated. And it updated 10 seconds because it, at the time that it started, five seconds from then, not five seconds from when we, when we initially loaded the page. So uh, if we click rebound again, Bob just cannot seem to find any luck. Uh, he has to try another state just because that one he was at didn't work out. There you go. So five seconds later. Bob does reload. Bob refreshes his location, and the new date and time is there. And Bob has a new day, and Bob has a rebound that he can, uh, you know, find happiness, peace, and fulfillment with after that five second uh, break and then a location reload. So that's how you use location reload in JavaScript. I hope that made sense. If not, or if it did, uh, please let me know in the comments or contact me. Uh, you can find me at the website and all of the socials linked in the description. Um, thank you for watching and let me know what else I can do to explain JavaScript and other crazy hard stuff to you. Thank you very much for watching.